Welcome to Storytime with Miss Chante, and today we are going to be reading Library Books Are Not For Eating, and it's by Todd Tarpley and illustrated by Tom Booth. We don't eat our books, do we? No. Library books are not for eating. The day Miss Bronte came to school, story time was extra cool. She told great jokes, was never mean, biggest smile you'd ever seen. One small problem, couldn't beat it. Once she read that book, she'd eat it. She'd say, the end. And you heard a crunch, then three or four more books for lunch. Miss Bronte, kids would keep repeating, Library books are not for eating. Miss Bronte promised with a roar that she'd be eating books no more. But soon as story time was gone, oops, there goes another one. Miss McSmartly called her in. Miss Bronte, where do I begin? You're eating books. That isn't right. You need to curb your appetite. I think you know there where this is leading. Library books are not for eating. Miss Bronte promised with a roar that she be eating books no more. When Miss McSmartly turned her head, she ate up all her books instead. At lunchtime, when she ate two more, the lunchroom lady stomped the floor. Miss Bronte, you must change your diet. Books taste yucky. Don't deny it. Instead of books, try something new. My cottage cheese, my meatloaf stew. We've got to rearrange your feeding. Library books are not for eating. Miss Bronte promised with a roar that she'd be eating books no more. She took one bite of cottage cheese. Do you think she liked it? And then... Three books of recipes. Oh, she's back to eating the books again. She took a walk to clear her head. Down to the soccer field she fled. Coach Burley blew his whistle loudly, pointing to his pr players proudly. We've got a problems of our own, a soccer field that's overgrown. Can't mow the grass, can't pick the weeds. We're not the only ones with needs. Be a winner. No more cheating. Library books are not for eating. Miss Bronte promised with a roar that she'd be eating books no more. But as Coach Burley turned his glaze, she ate his book of soccer plays. Miss Bronte packed her, packed her bags that day. I'm sorry, but I cannot stay. It's not that I find books so yummy, but nothing else here fills my tummy. If I could find a bulb or a seed or a blade of grass, a bush, a weed. Suddenly, her plan was clear. She'd make the wild weeds disappear. All she had to do was eat them. Let her appetite defeat them. Now Miss Bronte just eats weeds. 
They fill her dietary needs. The soccer team has gone undefeated, but a single book, but not a single book's been eaten. Every morning, right at nine, Miss Bronte leads the story time. And every afternoon at four, she's on the sidelines keeping score. The soccer field is good as new. Kids run and kick where weeds once grew. The moral of this tale you're reading? Library books are not for eating. A happy tale this might have been. Oh no, what could have happened? <gasps> but then they hired Mr. Finn. Oh no, what's going to happen next? They hired a shark. Oh no. Miss Bronte loves being a teacher, but she had a small problem. She also loved eating books. But library books are not for eating. I hope you enjoy the story. Tune in next time. Bye.